Hi. It's Saturday. I think it's September 18th, 2021. Today, since it stopped raining, I've come to the MCC Festival. MCC Festival is something that's related to a group. It's a Christian religion uh, that started about 500 years ago. Not MCC, but I think the whole Mennonite story, which I am very familiar with. MCC stands for Mennonite Central Committee, and as I understand, the MCC does a tremendous amount of great work around the world, building uh, water uh, facilities for people that don't have drinking water, teaching English, and all kinds of other uh, practicing of Christian principles, helping people. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, the majority of the monies raised by MCC actually goes to helping people versus many of the other foundations and charities where it's flipped. 60, 70, 80 percent goes to people administering programs that may or may not happen. I think the opposite is true with MCC, that the vast majority of monies raised goes to actually helping people. So I just want to see what's going on here today and uh, talk to anybody that's willing to talk and film some things so that together we understand Hi. the uh, MCC world, changing lives together. MCC Festival Crisis. Look at this here. Hi, Dorothy. Borscht is a very typical Mennonite food. Samosa, on the other hand, is not. <laughs> My mother made Vrenicky when I was growing up, and raw kuchen. So let's see what we're going to see. There's a great sign, MCC, some of their work around the world. British Columbia, they're involved in food security. And in the Congo. And in Haiti. Lebanon. Cambodia, South Sudan. changing lives together. I think the MCC does a lot of great work for people around the world. This looks kind of cool. This building was built here not long ago. Inside they've got a thrift shop. MCC Quilt Shop. All proceeds support Mennonite Central Committee. Oops. This is what we're at today. So this place is called 10,000 Villages. Fair trade, baskets. Hi, how are you doing? 
What are you guys all about for my YouTube channel? Oh, 10,000 Villages. We sell fair trade, non-profit things from around the world, artisans, supported, and lifestyles are changed. So. so people in local areas that this group, MCC, works with source products. We, we work with uh, developing countries, artisans in developing countries, okay. to give them a fair wage for their products. And then you set up commercial transactions? And then we have here in 10,000 Villages. Oh. So you can go with your camera and see things, and I, I think that would be okay. So Thank you very much. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thanks for explaining. Yeah, no <laughs> Hi. Hey. How are you doing? Good, thank you. This is all the 10,000 villages? Yes, it is. Are you a volunteer? I am. And are you in charge? No. Are you the main volunteer? No. Well, <laughs> the, main, the main person gets paid, uh, but I'm a volunteer. I'm doing this for my YouTube channel. Okay. I'm trying to explain to the world what MCC is and then what the parts of it are. Okay. So what do you know about MCC? Um, okay. <laughs> so why should people care about MCC and what MCC does? Well, MCC, basically, the basic program of MCC is a, like a charitable organization that helps world relief, helps people in trouble around the world, disaster relief, and also ongoing programs for, for very needy people. What's, what's really unique about 10,000 Villages, because this 10,000 Villages store is owned by MCC BC. Okay. And what we do is, instead of charity, we offer this way for people to have the dignity of their own job. Okay. So people around the world that are very poor and in need, they have lots of talent. They, they sometimes have, have artwork that has been passed down through the generations. And they make all these really unique items over here um, or over there. And then we bring them over here and sell them. And so we pay them a full fair wage for what they make. Oh. It's all fair trade. The store is a non-profit store, so we're not in it for the profit. We're just in it to help people earn their own living instead of getting the charity part of MCC, we give them the job part of MCC. Uh -huh. So, and that's how 10,000 Villages ties in with, with the main MCC. So this was a really cool kind of explanation of what 10,000 Villages is doing. If I understand it correctly, I'm Danny, by the way. Hi, Danny. What's your name? Rebecca. Rebecca, nice to meet you. Um, they help people anywhere in the world that are artisans or small business owners making something that they're having maybe difficulty uh, selling or, or passing on because of the big companies, the giants or other competitive issues. Or they just live in a country where there just is nothing, right? So somebody's watching here from Uganda and they have a little business making baskets. They would get in touch with you here or a First local? First of all, they have to be certified fair trade. Okay, how does that happen? They have to apply for that. Okay. And I'm not sure how that's done. Okay. But they have to apply to the World Fair Trade Organization. So they have to be certified fair trade, okay. which then covers all kinds of things like no child labor, uh, all the foods are organic, um, environmentally friendly. Uh, there's two other things that I can't remember, but there's some really strict rules to be able to be part of the fair trade organization. So, and so any group that wants to sell through us or sell to us um, has to qualify in that way. So World Fair Trade Organization yes. is the one that a small business person anywhere in the world would need to first apply for, and there's a criteria. Yes. You're not using little children and yeah. the food is organic yeah. or sourced yeah. and some other things that we can find out and then we'll list it here hopefully. Um, and then once they pass that hurdle, then the logistics start of connecting with 10,000 Villages representative or they yeah, just would... So, so right now they would have to be in touch with 10,000 Villages USA. Okay. Because now, because 10,000 Villages Canada has actually closed down. Okay. They closed down last June. Um, so we're uh, four independent stores across Canada that are sta that stayed alive. Okay. And now we've um, come under the umbrella of 10,000 Villages USA. So any new product uh, groups would have to go through them. Okay. So 10,000 Villages Canada is closed down, at least for now. There are four stores across Canada that are open. Everything new going forward comes under... 10,000 Villages USA. 
So they could contact somebody here in Canada, but they would be referred to the U.S. division yeah, there's not for really processing. Here to contact. That's the uh, there's nobody here to contact. No, there's no <laughs> you can't find the email. But if you are an eager beaver, you need to do the World Trade Fair Trade <laughs> criteria. You need to get certified. Then you also can be applying to USA. Right. And then they would help process. Yeah, I don't know what the process is, but that's that would be the beginning of it. That's okay. all I know. Yeah. Pretty. Uh, we'll go right here. Can I film inside here? I uh, I can ask Erna. Please ask, and I have to do a mask, right? Yes. Okay. Okay. I've got a mask with me for emergencies. When I absolutely cannot arrive. How do I look? This stuff is almost finished. That's what I believe, and I'm gonna keep believing it. This is a cool sign. So, MCC thrift shop, and a part of MCC is the 10,000 villages. Very cool, helping people around the world. Specifically, can you turn that off or something? Sorry, I was not able to go inside. Yes. Wow. Yes. So let's see what we're 